Daniel chapter 10. In the third year of Cyrus, the king of Persia, a revelation came to Daniel, also known as Belteshazzar. The revelation was indeed true, but its fulfillment was set for a distant time. Daniel comprehended the vision and understood it. During those days I, Daniel, mourned for a full three weeks. I refrained from consuming delightful foods, meat, and wine. I did not anoint myself with oil for the entire three weeks. Then, on the twenty-fourth day of the first month, I found myself beside the great river, known as the Tigris. I raised my eyes and saw a figure dressed in linen, with a belt of fine gold from up as around his waist. His body had the appearance of beryl, his face shone like lightning, his eyes were like blazing torches, his arms and feet gleamed like polished brass, and his voice echoed like a multitude. I, Daniel, was the only one who witnessed this vision. The men with me did not see it, but they were seized by a great trembling and fled to hide themselves. So, I was left alone to witness this remarkable vision, and my strength entirely left me. My countenance turned pale, and I had no strength remaining. Nevertheless, I could hear the voice of his words. When I heard his words, I fell into a deep sleep with my face to the ground. Then a hand touched me and raised me onto my knees and palms. He spoke to me, saying, Daniel, you are greatly beloved. Understand the words that I speak to you, and stand upright, for I have been sent to you. When he uttered these words, I stood trembling. He reassured me, saying, Do not fear, Daniel. From the very first day you set your heart to understand and humbled yourself before your God, your words were heard, and I have come in response to them. However, the prince of the kingdom of Persia opposed me for twenty-one days. But then Michael, one of the chief princes, came to assist me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. Now I have come to make you understand what will happen to your people in the latter days, for the vision pertains to a time far in the future. After he spoke these words to me, I turned my face toward the ground and remained silent. Then, one who resembled a human touched my lips, and I opened my mouth and spoke. I said to the one standing before me, My Lord, the vision has caused my sorrows, and I have lost all my strength. How can the servant of my Lord converse with my Lord? For as for me, there is no strength left in me, and I have no breath. Once again, one who resembled a man touched me, and he strengthened me. He said, O man greatly beloved, do not fear. Peace be with you, be strong, yes, be strong. After he spoke to me, I regained my strength and said, Speak, my lord, for you have strengthened me. Then he said, Do you know why I have come to you? I am now returning to fight against the prince of Persia, and when I depart, the prince of Greece will come. But first, I will reveal to you what is written in the Book of Truth. No one supports me in these matters except Michael, your prince, 